1960, which requires these states to preserve and maintain these lists and voter data for 22 months after a federal election. And of course, we did go into these 14 states. We looked at these top most populated counties, 100 of them. Of the 100, only six managed to keep any data whatsoever. And it was egregious when we took a look at those numbers, but it gets worse because we also took a look at the numbers of voters who voted and compared that to the number of ballots cast. They didn't match anywhere. And when we asked the officials on the ground, they had no answers. It was absolutely ridiculous. You mentioned the 16,000 in Miami-Dade. That's one county in Florida. Does that matter in a state that big? Well, I don't know. Ask Rick Scott. He won his last election by 10,000 votes. Cobb County, Georgia, one county. We found 34,000 discrepancies. We know the last election there in 2020 was decided by 11,000 votes. You wouldn't let this happen at your bank. If you went in there and gave them $100, the deposit slip should come back and say 100. What if it said 50 or 150? These numbers don't match anywhere. No one can tell us why. This whole thing is a scam. And these laws are being violated across the country. These election officials either stupid, lazy, ignorant, or malicious, and they're violating federal law. It's a serious problem out there, and we have to fix it now. We're working with secretaries of state on the ground to make sure we can get to the bottom of this and make sure they maintain and retain this data for this upcoming federal election. It'd be so much easier to check up on it. Here's the big problem. Even worse, the person and entity that has to actually enforce the 1960 Civil Rights Act is Merrick Garland and the DOJ. Do you think they're going to take their eye off of trying to call parents terrorists for looking into their education of, the, of their own children? No way. We're looking for a path forward. We have to make it easy to vote and hard to cheat. By retaining this data, we can take a look at things in real time and potentially prevent illegalities, irregularities, and fraud across this country from happening again. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine an excuse for, you know, 94 out of 100 counties throwing away their voter data when they're not allowed to. I, do, I don't think there's a good, um, a good explanation for that. Hogan Gidley, I appreciate that explanation.